Tina with the rest of our stories. And Vice President has called on the Muslim community to continually uphold selflessness and compassion during the celebration of Eid. Dr. Bomia again praised religious tolerance which has existed between the Muslims and the Christian communities. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Dr. Muhammad Baumia recalled the 30 days long Ramadan that the Muslims embarked on. He emphasized on the blessings that God will bestow on the Muslim community and the nation after this Ramadan. He was extremely elated about the religious tolerance which has so far existed between the Muslims and other faith-based organizations. Here in Ghana, we are blessed with tolerant and progressive religious leadership and groups which are contributing meaningfully to the national development. Let us continue to strengthen our ties regardless of our different religious identities. He called on the Muslim community to uphold selflessness and compassion to celebrate this year's Eid. As we converge at various Eid grounds and reunite with our families and friends and loved ones, let us savor the moment, but in moderation, especially on our various streets. Beyond the Eid, let us uphold the great Islamic values of selflessness, generosity, compassion we show towards humanity during the month of Ramadan. Spokesperson for the National Chief Imam Sheikh Karim Yai Shaibu praised government for supporting the Muslims in the area of education. He again praised the Christian community for supporting the Muslim students during the month of Ramadan. This year we have never heard of any interfaith confusion or conflict as a result of students deprived from fasting or saying their prayers. We want to build on what we already have and build solid foundation for interfaith harmony built on our shared values of hard work, honesty, love, compassion, forgiveness, sympathy, empathy. And staying with the celebrations, Ghanaians across the country converge at the Independence Square to break the month-long fast by offering prayers and to bond with family and friends. The first time since 2019 after COVID uh, broke out. Now, Lord Edward Sari was there brings us this detail. The Black Star Square was filled with hundreds of eager Muslims who had thronged the venue to pray. National Chief Imam Osman Nuhu Sharabutu led the Eid prayers physically for the first time in two years. 30 days after the fasting of our Muslim brothers, sisters and friends, they are climaxing the period with Eat prayers here at the Independence Square in Accra. Now, you'd realize that several people have gathered here to pray and hear what the Chief Imam has to say. We are here to speak to them and find out what the experience has been like. Since two years ago, things were not like this. A friend or a family member that's been away for a while and he's finally back and whatnot, we're just so happy to see it, you know? So, like, when we come out here today and whatnot and it's a nice day outside and people are in good moods and whatnot it's just it's a blessing. Two years of COVID wasn't easy but thank God we were able to come and experience this fun packed of Eid with everyone around the globe. 